And what's going on? Fontaine here, VIPSoundLab.com, and I'm back on Machine 2.6.8, one of the newest updates for Native Instruments Machine. Now, I just got back from the UK, so I'm sorry if I didn't uh, respond to your email. I think when I was over there, you know, some of their dialect was actually getting to some of my dialect. But anyway, you know, I'm back in the States, so, you know, sorry about the late responses on the emails. So I was going through some of the emails, and one email that caught my attention was from a member, and they were wanted to do, uh, or rather, they wanted me to do a video on some sound quality when it comes to uh, their bass and their kick drum. Basically, what happens is they're getting uh, some type of problem where their kick drum is clashing with the bass, and they were wanted to know, you know, any suggestions. So one suggestion I would do, you know, when it comes to EQ and your kicks and your bass, because no kick or no bass is ever gonna be you know, have, have a, a EQ preset that's going to work all the time because everything's EQ different. Okay, so basically what I would suggest would be to duck the audio or side chaining because basically ducking is when you cut the volume of one sound source when another sound source enters your mix. So in this particular uh, example here, I have a track where the bass is actually clashing with the kick and I did it on purpose so then that way we can make a great example in the video. So take a listen to this bass when it um, focus on this area right here, when this bass is going to clash with this kick. Okay, now the distortion and the artifacts in that is very subtle, you know, our, our kick drums are they're pretty well EQ'd and our bass is pretty well EQ'd. But my ear, I guess for me, I'm just so used to it where I can just hear like little subtle differences when it comes to sound quality. Um, the sounds in this kit, for example, is from my new Nemesis Drums HD kit and we have process as well as dry. Uh, we did it that way because we were also were getting a lot of requests. People were wanting um, a lot of dry process sounds for whatever reason, I guess, to do their own tweaking and things like that. So. You know, again, we're a company who, when our members ask, we listen. So we got that in there. So one thing that you can do is Native Instruments has an awesome, um, well, they have a nice internal one uh, here as well. I'll talk about this in a second, but they have one here called Solid Bus Comp. And let me bring this up and I'm going to pin it. Now, I'm going to tell you why I like this compressor and what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to turn... All these knobs down basically to get the less effect possible and the reason for this is I'll explain in a minute because again everything is never EQ'd the same so I'm gonna put it 50% wet and dry I'm gonna put the output here at negative 20 that's a, that's a good starting point negative 20 here. I believe this is a good starting point the release I'm gonna put it automatic the ratio 10 to 1 I don't need any makeup on that because again when it comes to our, our sounds, they're they're pretty well, um, you know, I put it on the wrong thing. I was doing it backwards. Let me go ahead and bring the uh, the comp over here and get these settings reset. Basically, I had it on a kick. So what happens is if you do it that way, there's also a thing called reverse side chaining. That would be a different method where I'm not sure if a lot of producers do know that, but you actually can uh, side chain and reverse and actually get a a louder pump on your bass and your sense and things of that nature but you know <clears throat> that would be another tutorial video um okay for this video we're going to stick with this because in the compressor you have okay what's called the threshold here which basically allows you to set the point at which a compressor is going to kick in okay you have a ratio here which basically allows you to adjust the amount of compression that you're going to get you know this has an attack here and this has a release but it doesn't have a knee knob but just for the video to make a good example, if I bring up this uh, internal compressor here, okay, you notice how this one, it does have a knee on it. Okay, that's defaulted to 50%. Basically, all these do, the knee, the attack and release, what they do is basically they, they're going to adjust how swiftly the compressor is going to react to signals that approach the threshold. So I don't need this one. So technically... I'm not even gonna get into that. that. That'll be another video. Okay, let, let's just stick with this. All right, so side chaining, what is it? It's basically just the process of using the output of one track to control the action of a compressor on a different track. Okay, so machine, I mean, a machine does have tracks. Um, you know, some call them sounds. 
um, pads. I mean, whatever you want to call it. I mean, you have inputs and outputs. You have auxes, you know, you you have, okay, you have auxes here where you can like bus sounds. I mean, if you want to think it, think of it like in, like in Logic and Pro Tools, when you have your, your audio and your MIDI tracks, machines, just MIDI tracks, but, um, technically it's, it's still processing your audio. So you could make a summing bus here, but that's getting more, it's like effect racks. Okay. Like for, for example, you could, you could make a, a, a side chaining, um, track, for example, that, that, that would be another video. As a matter of fact, I think we have an old video on something like that, making effects racks. But anyway, what's going to happen is basically there's various methods, okay, such as pragmatic for dialogue ducking or vocal mixes. For example, side chaining, it has various uses. You can you can side chain vocals, for example. Um, you can side chain bass. You can side chain uh, to penetrate through synths, pads, guitars, things like that. Um, if you're still not if it's still not jazzing in your mind think of it as like um when you're okay like like when you're car driving and the music is playing and then the radio announcer comes on and the volume of the audio goes down while the man comes through nice and clean and clear boom you understand all right so basically what i'm doing is i'm clearing room for a kick and i'm using this this is probably the most common method here to let the kick drum punch a hole through the bass okay so what i'm going to do I'm going to go, you have a side, well, on this plugin anyway, you have a main page here. This is one page where it has your threshold makeup ratio, attack, release, and output, and dry. Basically, this is just a copy of what's here. You know, then you have um, the actual side chain here, which is your modes, okay, off and on. Basically, this button here, you get it. It's just, this is just basically a copy. All right, but your input here is something that you have to um, activate here. All right, so we want to... Um, get a nice source so the source which I'm, I'm going to want to use as a trigger is sound 2 okay so I click sound 2 here you see it says a1 meeting group a1 sound 2 all right so now whenever this kick drum hits it's gonna trigger okay the compressor to do its job so I'm gonna go ahead and just play this from the beginning right quick and again we're gonna be focusing on this area here to see you know what's all going on here all right, so I'm gonna press play. All right, so now, again, my ears or are more, I'm not gonna say more trained than yours, but I'm just so used to it that I can hear that, that artifact in there. All right, so I'm gonna activate the side chain button, which is now on. And the threshold I have all the way up, side chain down again, because I like to tweak my sounds and start basically dry and work from there. Why? Because I basically, when I'm bringing up um, the side chain here from negative 20 dB, I want to kiss the needle. You know, I don't want it to have a super strong pumping effect and then it kicks down weak off bat. I want to slowly tweak it in. You know, I want to slowly bring it in until I get um, a nice pumping effect on the kick where I'm satisfied. Uh, a better example for this nine times a ten because this is more like a down tempo hip hop beat. A better example would, would probably be um, like a house music track when the kick is constantly doom 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 doom, and you got a bass line like you know what I'm saying. So that would probably be a lot more obvious. This is more subtle, okay? Because this is more of an urban a urban track. But anyway, you get the idea. Let me uh, bring this back. Right, so we're not getting any pumping effect there. So I'm gonna bring this up a little bit. I'm gonna start from the fourth bar just so we don't have to go all the way to the beginning. All right, so you see the needle beginning to move. So I might have jumped the gun a little bit because that that really went kind of hard. Um, I'm gonna bring this back right quick. It already went to like four. We're getting like a a, a gain reduction of four. Okay. The lower the lower I lower this threshold, the more reduction we're gonna get. So let's uh again what I'm doing is it's called this is called just kissing the needle. 
I'm trying to get the less amount possible at first. Okay, see, that's barely, you see how that was barely kissing the needle there? There we go. Okay, so I found a nice little starting point. Now, I don't know if you can see that, that needle moving. It looks like it's not moving, but it's actually, it's actually moving. You're getting just a little bit of gain reduction. It's very, very subtle. Okay, so that's my starting point. So now with the side chain, I want to bring this up a little bit until I feel comfortable with it. Now, everybody's different, so you're going to tweak yours until you feel comfortable. The makeup on this, I'm not even going to mess with it. Why? Because I know when it comes to our sound kits, the quality that we put into it. I know this bass here is thundering. Uh, the makeup on here would be redundant. I mean, it, you, basically, too much makeup, you're going to distort your sound. I mean, there's, 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 there's no doubt about that. All right, I'm going to do a three to one. Uh, I'm going to do kind of a slow attack. And I pretty much trust the auto release on this. So let's bring it back to the beginning. Now nah, I just focus on this area here. We don't have to sit down and sit apart. We don't really want to focus on. We'll just start from here. Okay, now again, I don't know if your ears can hear that. All right, so I think that's pretty much explained pretty well without going uh, super, super in depth um, with that. I think this was a pretty good example. Again, there's other, uh, other examples that we could do with like house music and stuff like that. Okay, but you know, when it comes to the pros of this, this technique can be very, very powerful without an EQ first. You know, if you're not starting with the EQ first, you know, on the kick, um, I guess you can say, because um, sometimes people will, will put an EQ on a kick to try to get it to cut through the track. This, this might could be a solution, you know, if you wanted to get your kick to punch through the bass really, really quickly without having to resort to that EQ first. So, okay. So what's the result? So you're like, okay, Fontaine, what's the, the ending result of me doing this? Why should I do this in my mix? Okay, well, basically, it's, it's no need to compromise on the low end of your track to have to be stuck using a, cl a clicky kick drum. You know, this kick here is a powerful kick by itself. Like, if I solo this kick right here, this kick is not no clicky kick, man. Like, listen to this kick. Hear that? not a clicky kick at all by no means that's a punchy kick man this kick i put here on purpose um this kick is from our immortal trap uh expansion which is geared toward trap music that's like a punchy punchy 808 kick so when you when i have a punchy 808 kick uh with a powerful bass note like this this bass note here which is also very powerful A lot of times you're going to have trouble mixing those frequencies from one bassy 808 with another bassy 808. Bass will go crazy in the frequencies. Believe me when I tell you that. You know, so if you're wanting a nice kick to punch through that bass, you might want to start with a nice side chain compression. Instead of coming in here and, oh man, I need to EQ here and you're losing bits and when you're losing bits, you're making your mix sound weak and watered down. And you're like, well, why is it not hitting? And people's like, oh, man, your bass sounds dumb. It's not even hitting right. You know, that's because you're compromising your bass, man. You're you're in there EQing and, and taking taking bits off and lowering it. You know, you're basically compressing your your bass at the end of the day. You might as well say when you want your bass to be thundering and coming through and then dunk it and have that kick coming through uh, nice and neat. So basically what you get is a nice bass line without distorted artifacts from your kicks. So uh, look at the time, we're running long here. All right, it's your boy Fontaine, VIPsoundlab.com. Uh, we have a basic membership that's $9.99. Make sure that you head over to the site. Make sure that you're just not subscribing. Make sure that you're becoming a member of the site. You wanna be a paid member to have access to free tutorial videos, our session templates, our controller editor templates.
one-on-one support from me via email or if you want to call me, you know, whatever you want to do. That's what the membership does. You know, you basically want to have that. All right. So with that being said, stay tuned. We got some special things coming for you guys next month. I can't talk about that right now, but um, trust me, you definitely want to be a member of VIPSoundLight.com. If you're not here right now, we have a basic membership. Again, it's $9.99 with no monthly fees. We do machine tutorials for free. No monthly fees. I mean, it's, it, it's a no brainer. All right. Um, you also can go up to tiers. We have gold memberships, private access, as well as platinum. In platinum, what we did was we created a new one terabyte uh, hard drive that gives you over 136 kits. It's basically we call it the everything bundle. It's everything on our website. All you get all our kits, all our expansions, and they're basically com compiled on that portable hard drive. There's no moving parts in that hard drive. You don't have to worry about if you bump it, if you bang it, it's going to erase loose sounds. No, there's no internal parts. It's, it's, US, it's completely USB powered. So it's a more stable um hard drive okay and it's portable it's small it's lightweight you can throw it literally in your pocket and it comes fully loaded no download links you know when we originally first started doing the flash drives we had them where okay people were wanting the the download links and uh so that drive it comes with a little bit on it and then the rest is digital downloads so when we made the 128 gigabyte drive on up to the one terabyte drive it's a lot better because when you get it everything is on that drive there's no downloading there's no waiting it's done it's complete you get it you're ready to go believe what i say i strongly recommend getting the 128 gigabyte version or better there's no waiting when it comes to download links even though we give you access to a vip cloud in the meantime it's just a lot better plus you have the storage space on there where you can go in there and save your sessions and your files you know i get a lot of uh, clients who you know, they, they come in and tell me how their hard drive failed in a Mac, you know, and I, I feel bad about it because I'm like, you know, when you lose those sounds, <laughs> you know, I mean, in, in your sessions and stuff like that, backing up data is important, you know, and it also makes life easier for companies um, like us. And, you know, when you got to go back and provide all those links over again. So, I mean, why not, you know, back up your work? This is what we're in this 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 music business for, you know, when you're building your catalogs, of sounds and Samples, you know, backing up files is important. So why not have a flash drive and a hard drive with all the sounds from us on it? They're backed up, they're safe, and you're also backing up your work at the same time. All right, my friends. So I hope this um, answered your question to get a cleaner mix. Again, this is side chain compression. Again, uh, it has various uses. You know, so again, I'll just recap, such as pragmatic for dialogue ducking of your vocal mixes, things of that nature. You know, if you want to uh, ducking vocals or again, you can do it in a reverse way where you actually can make um, bass stronger or you can make kick drum stronger doing it in reverse, putting your compressor on another track. All right. So this is boy Fontaine, VIP I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.